PUBG Wiz. I'm going to show you how to make the best vegetable chicken soup that you've ever had. And uh, we'll work together on it because uh, I'm going to try to do it in under 10 minutes. That's the promise I'm making. So what you need to do is uh, here are the ingredients. And then first we'll go over the tools you need. You need a, a spoon, large soup spoon, a uh, stainless steel ladle, a large kitchen knife, and a large pot. So once you get your tools together, and uh, then you will work over the ingredients. The ingredients are, I'm going to use for vegetables, baby carrots, and then celery, and uh, red onion, and um, scallions, stoplight peppers. These uh, wonderful, this wonderful parsley was uh, made by my, uh, well not made, by, it's grown by my son in his garden. And so I wanted to feature that, it's fresh parsley. And uh, we have some uh, corn and peas, asparagus, broccoli, pearl barley, rice. The pearl barley is here. Uh, the rice, uh, white meat chicken, and um, I have some dried mushrooms, Worcestershire sauce, uh, fresh ground pepper, and so I'm low in salt for my diet or for the lifestyle I lead. I have a salt-free dash. Uh, we also have some garlic and some cherry tomatoes. This is, um, uh, you can use chicken broth or uh, beef broth, whichever you decide. I like uh, beef broth, but I have chicken broth upstairs. Uh, once you uh, gather all of your ingredients, uh, next you have to... Come on. Uh, chop the vegetables up. <laughs> and through the magic of... Video Pow! Okay, now that the vegetables are all cut up, this is the, uh, I'm going to give you the portion sizes. The uh, red cabbage, half a cup. Celery, half a cup. Red onion, half a cup. Scallions, half a cup. Tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, half a cup. Asparagus, half a cup. Broccoli, one cup. Half a cup of peas, half a cup of corn. And I just got those frozen. You can get them out of the can, either one. And then uh, half a cup of stoplight preppers. That would be uh, red, orange, and yellow. Half a cup of carrots. Uh, two tablespoons of rice. You don't have to use a lot of this because it... Uh, it will expand and this is pearl barley half a cup of uh, or two tablespoons of pearl barley this is some kalamata olives uh, two tablespoons of that and a tablespoon not a lot of uh, dried mushrooms because they're full of flavor then we're just going to put a sprinkle of uh, the salt substitute and some Worcestershire sauce and some fresh ground pepper all in the uh, stew pot. Now uh, I put some uh, water in here. I put about a cup and a half of water in here and I, you'll have to gauge it on your own but I think a cup and a half of water does well and I put one uh, 32 ounce container of beef broth in there already and I'll go ahead and add this beef broth and uh, the white meat chicken I got that from the uh, at the uh, Come on. store, it was uh, rotisserie chicken that's been shredded and breast meat. You'll just put that in at the end. 
Glug, 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 glug. So you can have uh, make this soup and leave the chicken out of it so that if anybody just wants vegetable soup, they can have vegetable soup with no meat. Uh, also, if they want it, you can just add this meat at the end. You don't want to boil it anymore because it'll... Um, uh, Mess it up. Make it dry. The uh, You can put a cup of, uh, half a cup of uh, red wine in here. Uh, or I'm going to just substitute with that with some uh, apple juice. Give it a uh, sweet taste. And um, next go in the ingredients. Come on, get them all in there. Come on. Okay, well. One left. Sometimes they won't cooperate. And go these ingredients. That's that parsley that my son uh, cooked. I put two tablespoons of parsley in. I'm proud of him. Uh, this is the barley. This is the brown rice. Some Kalamata olives. Kalamata olives and stew. A tablespoon of uh, garlic. Some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. I like a little extra Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I love this soup. Uh, we always have it, my wife and I together and uh, it'll feed us for a day or two and let's see i'll put in the mushrooms next you can put these mushrooms in a bouquet garni if you want and tie it up with some uh in a uh, bag and put it in the soup and take it out later but i don't put a lot of mushrooms in there so it's not so bad sometimes they can get woody if you use the uh, dried mushrooms like i'm using or you can use fresh mushrooms that's uh, would be nice uh, I like the dried mushrooms. They're packed full of flavor. This is salt substitute because I'm not having any salt in my diet at all. I would suggest the same thing because salt is just killer for you. Here's some fresh brown black pepper. Can you do it with one hand? And uh, I'll have to do that a little later. You can pepper your own. Now, my wife doesn't like pepper anyway, so I'm going to pepper my own at the end. And then these ingredients go in. And now that all the ingredients are in, I'll give it a quick stir. Swish. Now this will go on to a... Oh, one hand. Come on, baby. This will go on to a medium oven. You set the temperature at uh, a little bit above medium. Uh, I don't want to give you my oven directions because uh, they may be different than yours. But the bottom line is you want to bring this to a slow boil. You want to bring it to a boil at first and then turn it down below medium to simmer for about an hour or an hour and a half. And then uh, you might have to cover it. Uh, I have a cover uh, in order to keep the uh, liquid from dissipating too much, from uh, evaporating too much. So that's it. That's chicken soup and under, that is vegetable, the best vegetable <laughs> chicken soup that you'll ever have in under 10 minutes. Now, uh, if you could, would you please uh, uh, follow me on Twitch and subscribe to me on YouTube. I uh, have this uh, mouse pad that I'll give you for free, and all you have to do is comment <laughs> in the section, send me a private message with just your address, and I will send you a free uh, mouse pad that says PUBG with, that's me on Twitch TV and YouTube, 
and uh, you don't even have to use your real name, just put your address in there and a uh, pseudo name and I will send it to you. I've sent out 500 of them. So, uh, and I wanted to thank you very much for taking the time to, uh, to, to check out my best vegetable chicken soup. And this is it one more time. I've got the heat turned on. Once it comes to a uh, boil, I'll turn it down to simmer and cook it for uh, one and a half hours. And then you will have the best vegetable. And then soup, which if you wanted to add the chicken to it, those of you out there who are not going to eat meat. And uh, I hope you have the best day ever. Thank you very much. This is PUBG Wiz signing off.